In this video, we're going to continue to talk about rendering in uh, Corona for Cinema 4D. So in the previous video, we talked about how we can start to set up the basic setting for the rendering. And we saw how we can solve the problem of the noise inside the scene. So basically, how we can adjust the global illumination or the the noiser setting. Now we're gonna exit the interactive viewport here. We're gonna go in the Corona VFB and this is also a really important tool when we need to go into our final step and create our final render. We saw also how we can create regions to render only parts of the render and also some additional toolbars here and a really important one will be the light mix. Light mix it's uh, probably the most useful tool that you find here in the frame buffer because it will help you to manage all the lights that you have placed in the scene in a post-production so you don't need to render every time or uh, run uh, a lot of um, test renders but you can do everything in real time. So we're going to talk a little bit uh, about lights again and also about the light mix. So we're going to start with the exterior scene here and then we're going to proceed with an interior so we can uh, finish also some other topics. So I'm going to uncheck here the Corona Sun. You can see here I have the Corona Sun in this view and I also I'm using also an HDRI so image based lighting and uh, this time I want to just use here a, another type of lights. So I'm going to create some artificial lights for exteriors to test other effects. So I'm creating here a standard Corona light and I want to use it to light up this architecture that I have placed in a previous video. So I'm going to move this into position here try to replicate what happens in um, let's get here in the in the top view and make it a wireframe so we can place this light a little bit better so in reality you know monuments are like lighten up from the bottom so i'm trying to recreate this effect here just as an example of exterior lightning and then I will use here the cloner again, the MoGraph cloner that we used to scatter the trees in the previous video. Now we're going to create a more precise array. So we're not going to do a scatter, we're going to do a linear array. And we want to increase the count of these lights. And also we need to increase not only the count but the distance in the correct axis. It's like working basically with uh, uh, copies and now be careful only on the pivot because it's important where the pivot is placed. You can see here that the copies are placed a little bit distant from the original but that's okay this is just to make an example. Now the original is right there but we're gonna use these copies here and the beautiful thing about the cloner is that we have this linear array and everything it's um, it has the exact spacing so we don't need to do that everything it's already done for us just make sure that you have set here the correct proportions and then we can rotate everything and point everything upward where our monument is and I'm going to also increase here the directionality of these lights so in this case, I just need to select the original and work on the original and all the copies in the array will be set accordingly. And let's launch the first interactive viewport so we can see here some nice lighting. So I'm trying to create a night scene, kind of a... Right now we are kind of a, in a sunset situation, but we can keep that right now, just decreasing here the directionality a little bit and also the intensity we need to calibrate and probably in reality I would place another line of lights 
on top of the monument, not just on the ground floor, just like I did. So we can just play around with this right now. And there you go. We, we have a nice result here for an exterior lighting. And that now we are going to go here into the materials and I'm going to create a volume material. This is going to help us to create a really nice effect, which will be the volumetric effect. And this is something concerning the environment. So it's kind of a environmental effect, but also something that will concern the lights. So let's go into the scene environment. And if we go all the way down here, we can activate the global volume. And then I will click and drag the material inside the empty slot to assign that volume to the scene. So right now, the volume is placed. Now we just need to work a little bit with the parameters. So if I increase the distance here, I will start to see something. Otherwise, if it's zero, you won't see anything. And you can see it's totally black. Now the first result is probably that because uh, you need to make some other adjustments. So let's type here. Uh, we need to work basically with the distance and with the color and the density. So let's start here and increase the distance a lot. And you can see here that we don't see the environment anymore. So we need to find some middle way. There you go. Now we, we turned everything into a night scene without actually dimming down the HDRI. We are not working with the HDRI lightning, but just with this environment, just with, with this atmosphere. So if I increase the distance, I'm gonna start to see something in the background. If I decrease the distance, I will see less and less and again this is now looking more like a night scene more than before but you can adjust this however you want you can create a sunset uh, scenario or whatever you have in mind now i want to change also the color of this let's call it fog let's call it mist it can become uh, a lot of things basically but if you go into brighter colors you will start to see also the volumetric effect of the lights. So this is how you turn a standard light that you use every time into a volumetric light. It's like working into a movie scene and you start uh, like shooting fog inside the scene so the lights start to uh, reveal that fog or that uh, mist and it's gonna show into the render like a pretty realistic effect but also remember that this is a really heavy effect as well. So you need to leave it working a lot. You have a lot of noise here in the scene because this is a really powerful effect and you need to have patience to, to see the actual final effect. So right now this is just an example of how the volumetric light will look like. And you can use this in exterior but also in interiors. So you, you can create these visible beams of light. And again, you can change here the, the color of the scattering. And also you, have, you can have an emission. So you can actually emit light with your fog, with your atmosphere. And it's gonna create other beautiful effects like, like you can see here. And again, now we can check the same effect in an interior. So we're gonna switch to the 